Oh, it's been a minute. I do apologize. Good afternoon. My name is Joyce. And on this channel, you find everything personal development, personal accountability, personal responsibility, and personal growth. Thank you for coming back. And first of all, um, I know the title explains it to a certain extent, but I do want to say I'm sorry. I've gone AWOL for a couple of days and I don't know if you can probably tell, but I have had one of the most craziest colds that affected a little bit of my voice. And so I wasn't really able to record. Having said that, I'm feeling fine and dandy and I'm glad to be here. And today I wanted to talk about this idea of um, having the guts and the courage to say I'm sorry because it takes a lot of effort and especially in personal relationships, right? Or maybe even professional relationship. We might be in a space where we want people to see us a certain way, but I want us to think about sorry as a more of a power move in terms of, first of all, it expresses your vulnerability um, in a really powerful sense. But also, not just vulnerability, but also courage to be able to acknowledge when you are wrong. Most of us don't like acknowledging when we're wrong. Most of us would rather just pull a wool over our other people's eyes or pretend that that thing didn't, didn't happen and we're just going to ignore it. But the funny thing is, people don't forget. People have got memories like an elephant and they will remember the times that you have done them wrong and did not have the courage to say I'm sorry. So I think using I am sorry as a way to not to caveat it, not to explain away things, not to even try and cover anything up, but just to say I'm sorry and let it be. Because sometimes I think we tend to say I'm sorry, but then we preface it with something else, right? We say I'm sorry that I did that, but no, no buts. Just be sorry and let it be. Um, and, I, and I think sometimes it's actually, sometimes it's sorry for not seeing things the way you should have seen them. Sorry for making that mistake. Sorry for making people feel uncomfortable. Sorry for messing up, period. I, one of the reasons that probably would have put me in good stead is to hear an apology from somebody who had messed me up. It took me a very long time to go down that path of understanding why I was wrong because I took a lot of it as part of who I was. That the reason why they did that is because I, did, I didn't do or did a certain thing and therefore I blamed myself. Now, I'm not saying that other people are responsible or should be accountable for how you feel. But I am saying that sometimes when people say things, it helps clear a lot of the cobwebs in our own paths. And so if you're in a position where you know better and could do better, um, an apology will go a long way for somebody else and helping them along their journey. Again, I'm not saying we're responsible for other people. I am saying, though, that when we acknowledge our own errors, we allow other people also who may be vulnerable, who may be in a path that they're uncovering who they are, uh, be able to even open up those doors for them. So don't be slow in apologizing. Be quick to apologize and to move on, but also to understand the power of what that word can mean for other people. So I am sorry about this week. It was a bit of a crazy week for me. I just wasn't in a position to be able to deliver something for you. Um, and I acknowledge that. And thank you for sticking it out. Because I think for me, this is one of the things that I really love as part of or as a highlight of my day. So I'm glad to be back into the swing of things and in the land of YouTube. I'll see you again tomorrow. God willing, take good care.